This is the Pal Talk News Network. News Talk Online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. No retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're uh, syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. Before we get to our guest, Dr. Davis Liu, uh, Boaz, I don't know if you noticed the last story posted at uh, paltalknewsnetwork.com. The headline is this, FBI, local cops, rescue 50 children lured into prostitution. Unbelievable that in the United States of America, they keep doing these sweeps, the FBI with the local cops, uh, and they rescue these children. Uh, it's uh, one of the most disgusting crimes imaginable, taking a child and uh, putting uh, him or her in harm's way in such a manner. And every time they go out and do that, along with the state uh, authorities and the local authorities and the National Center for uh, Missing and Exploited Children, uh, we always cover it because I think it's very important to support the work that they are doing to try to keep these kids safe. But um, over 30 communities across the United States, these raids occurred over the past three days. 50 children. Which includes, Gary, by the way. Uh, right yes. here in California, which is the uh, uh, is considered uh, a fact right here in Los Angeles, where uh, we know uh, as a fact that uh, the, uh, the the center of the pornographic world exists right here in the San Fernando Valley, and unfortunately, part of that pornographic world is what exactly what you're talking about the production of uh, of these kinds of films that include uh, underage uh, uh, people. Yes, it's it's very uh, disgusting. And uh, kudos to the FBI, all the local and state authorities, and of course the National Center for uh, Missing and Exploited Children for doing the fine work that they are doing to try to keep the kids safe. Uh, okay, well, uh, one of the biggest stories that uh, we've been covering and the mainstream media have been covering as well, it has to do with the swine flu. And uh, we've tried our darndest to, 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 to bring to you the facts as we know them. Uh, and we have uh, covered it from all sides from a political uh, standpoint. We've uh, talked to the CDC. We've uh, carried their briefings live right here on the Pal Talk News Network. We will continue to do so. We have covered it from the uh, point of view of uh, those even in the healthcare industry who are reticent to take uh, the swine flu vaccine. Now the President of the United States, Barack Obama, has declared a swine flu emergency uh, that's designed to make it easier for hospitals, as I understand it, to treat people off-site if necessary so as not to uh, bring people who are suffering from the swine flu into close contact with uh, patients who have reduced immune systems and we also hear that there's a shortage of swine flu vaccine uh, we have brought to you a video of uh, people waiting in line uh, to uh, uh, unsuccessfully to get uh, vaccinated or to get their children vaccinated and uh, we've also heard from people who say uh, don't go get vaccinated because it's untested and you're better off not uh, being vaccinated for the swine flu well, joining us is a guy that we can trust to tell it like it is because he doesn't have a horse in the race politically. Uh, Dr. Davis Liu, who's a, a frequent uh, visitor to this show, the author of the book Stay Healthy, Live Longer, Spend Wisely, which I have to go and re-review because I'm under the weather today, uh, Dr. Liu, and I am uh, keep trying to keep the liquids down. I've got uh, chicken broth right here that I'm drinking 
uh, during the show. So I'm sure you'll be proud of me for at least doing that and leaving work today rather than contaminating my coworkers. Dr. Davis Liu, welcome back to News Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. Kerry, thanks for having me. Hope you feel better. And uh, chicken noodle soup really works. That's what I do when I get sick. Hey, it's uh, it's called Jewish penicillin, <laughs> chicken noodle soup, no question about it. So let's start with the question of the hype before we get into the question of what is the prudent thing that we ought to do as we make decisions for ourselves and for our family members. Um, is this flu being overrated, uh, given the fact that we have a seasonal flu every year and it claims a lot of lives, perhaps more each year than we will see uh, who die as a result of the swine flu, and yet it doesn't seem to garner the kind of attention we're giving to the swine flu. Well, I think uh, two questions, uh, two answers, actually. One, it's captured the Americans' uh, imagination because this flu tends to hit people 25 years and younger 26 times more than people 65 years and older. So we're seeing the young and healthy. Um, otherwise, you would never expect to die, pregnant women, to die of a flu that's uh, preventable. Um, number two, the, the actual number of cases have actually increased quite a bit. Uh, April of this year, as you, as you may remember, we were on the air together, and that's when the first swine flu cases started. There's a huge spike at that time. That's when Centers for Disease Control started noticing that. And I'll tell you, Gary, this year I've seen people with the flu in the summer, which I've never seen in my career as a physician. So we're diagnosing flu now. Uh, I had to go online before I came on your show. You know, 7% of doctor visits now are, relate to the flu. Just to give you an idea, last year in the winter, the dead of winter, 2008, the highest number percentage of people seen for flu, just general flu, was 6%. That number is steadily increasing. So swine flu is a real problem. I think uh, people should get vaccinated for the record. I just took two of my kids this morning to get vaccinated before I got on your show. And I actually myself had the H1N1 uh, swine flu vaccine last week. So I, I believe in what I say when it is the right thing to do. Of course, you're a healthcare professional. You have direct contact with patients, and your children are in the higher risk group. Unfortunately, uh, who would have thought that it would, uh, as you say, strike people who are under 25 years of age? But what about the rest of us? Should we be taking the vaccine as well? You know, Centers for Disease Control and fascinating data uh, in the spring. They found that out of 100,000 cases. Uh, Swine flu, or H1N1, as it's now called, affected one in 100,000. And we went to people 25 years and younger, it affected 26 out of 100,000. And the reason of that is the science. Uh, believe it or not, H1N1, a type of virus, was actually around to 1958, then disappeared for 20 years, then came back around the time in 76. And for those of you old enough, you remember Fort Dix and uh, President Ford, that's when the H1N1 came back. And so the irony is this, people who've been around longer have some partial immunity, and that's the science. So if the only people between 25 and 64 who might need the uh, H1N1 vaccine are those with diabetes, a heart disease, asthma, kind of the risk factors you think of with normal seasonal flu, chronic conditions we call it. But otherwise, people over 65 years old are otherwise healthy.